there's an ear you can fill, I won't judge. I'm no judge. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you are new to our soul tribe, our soul family. I'm very happy you're here. My name is Christine. You can also call me Chris. I really don't mind either. Welcome to your messages from your person, no contact and or in separation. Let me fix this. <laughs> Love tarot reading. Now, I'm already shuffled and ready to go. I do like to get a bit more in real time. But before I do, I just want to remind you that January's giveaway is underway. This month, I am giving away notes from the universe on love and connection. If you would like to enter into this month's giveaway, please watch, like, and share today's reading. Make sure you are a subscriber of the Tarot Closet and leave a message down below and include in, well, a comment, I should say, include in your comment the hashtag giveaway. Okay, you guys, good luck. Please remember this is a general reading. Take what is for you. Let the rest go. Also remember these are not predictions. You do have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. Please do not make any life-changing decisions based on your tarot reading today. I feel like I'm a little crowded. <laughs> anyway, all the links are down below. TheTarotCloset.com if you would like to book a private reading with me. Also down below is the link to my music website, ChristineLadue.com. The intro music you heard today is my music, and you can hear the rest of that song as well. Whoop, here we go. As I'm going to show you what's going on here, as well as other songs. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not able to multitask today. Also down below is a link to all the decks that I'll be using today, a link to my merchandise store if you want to help support the Tarot Closet. Also, the PayPal link is down below. Last, oh, I almost, I almost didn't show you <laughs> what was here, and this is just coming off, guys. Lastly, we do have a new Facebook community, the Tarot Closet Tarot Community. If you want to come over there and join us, you are most welcome. Okay, I want to show you what is going on. Under the deck, guys, the here and the now. This is very clearly about the past and the future and which direction this is heading, which direction this connection is heading. Look how interesting the future is pointing to milk and honey. Venus has made its way into the reading, the planet of love, the planet of harmony. I want to tell you Venus has a hot date <laughs> coming up with Saturn on January 23rd. Not, not the, I want to say, a match made in heaven, but, you know, Venus just wants to spread love, connecting with Saturn. This is about long-term situations. So somebody moving along as a connection, moving along, or somebody simply thinking about it. Let's see, guys. By the way, Venus is moving into Pisces on the 26th, and that is a really deep healing time for love. Yeah, very dreamy, love. Venus, there we go. Look, there is the hope. Somebody is still having hope for the future, quite literally. It's an elephant. This is not only good luck. We see that upturned trunk. <laughs> Look, it's in the milk. It's in the honey. It's also about new beginnings. So let's see what else is coming in. Okay. It's very clearly your overall energy card. I have a lot of decks, guys, so we're going to see what else wants to come in today. Interesting. Okay. It's the round and round, the cycles, and it came in in reverse. Yeah, so this cycle is ending, I feel, of no contact, quite literally. It can be coming together. It can also simply be talking again or sending messages back and forth. Not only is this bringing in that Neptune energy, that's the dreamy energy, guys. Somebody's really thinking about somebody else. Who is this? Is this both of you? This is the overall energy card. This is also about, yeah, somebody thinking about somebody else, assessing where things are going, what steps to take. 
Controlling what they can, controlling what they can, and letting go of the rest, or is that you? Let's see, guys. It's kind of a little bit of a wobbler. It's not exactly, it's not a hard reverse for me, but it is there. Look at that, loyal heart. This is an eight, this is an action number. It's moving forward, accomplishing something. And also, guys, there's a lot of karma around it. So yeah, have there been some cycles? Can it be that somebody was in their karmic cycles? Of course. Eight is also considered a lucky number. There's a lot of Gaia energy around eight. And I want to say to you, it's not going to be for everyone, but you know, this is the tarot closet. <laughs> if you're on a twin flame journey, I put that finger down just in time. Eight is also the infinity symbol. We can see this hair look and they're wearing their crowns. This is connecting to the crown chakra, knowing, understanding, thinking about the connection. That's also connecting us to the sun, which is the source, your God, your goddess, the universe, whatever that is for you, whatever that is for your person. It does feel that, yeah, this is in, this is in spirit's hands, I want to say. Whether you are coming together or not, you're still very much on each other's mind in each other's energy. And this egg is quite literally a knowing egg. And there is this heart. It's kind of fanning. Now, it's almost like you could tape it down. It's open. These are two open hearts. These are two keys. To what? Well, <laughs> we see it here, guys. And look, this is also coming down in reverse. Somebody's been asking some questions here. It's coming to a four. It's the four areas of support and stability. What is that? Emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual. Somebody was wondering, wanting more information about this connection. And here we go. Look, it's in spirit's hands. As I said, are you getting some answers today? Are you getting some answers soon? Is there a message coming? Have you been talking to your person? Let's see, guys. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> First of all, this is exactly the message that came through here, which is it's in spirit's hand, hands, excuse me. This is a let go. This is a let go, let God card for me. And look, it's coming to an 11. That is new beginnings. It's a master number. For those of you on a twin flame journey, it's a twin flame number. It's about the two of you. It's about the balance. It's about the duality. It's about the yin yang. And for some of you, that is about union. That's not going to be for everyone. And regardless of whatever journey you're on, this is a let go, let God message for me. That new beginnings are coming. Cycles are ending here. Okay. Yeah. And look what's right below it. This is the partnership placement, by the way. This is the mending card. I love this card because these wings here are representing fate. This is a faded connection. This is also bringing back in Neptune. Again, a very dreamy energy. Also, somebody really thinking about somebody else. I feel like it's both of you. This is really strong from your person. And it's exactly, again, assessing the situation, what can be done, controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. There, also, your person, excuse me. And you're both here and you're both holding on to this banner, which is a celebration banner. It's not quite ready to hang yet. We see it here. Look, somebody's manifesting that. Manifesting that. And there is this feeling here very much. Look at the star right above here. Look, vibrating, guys, also. Vibrating. The crown chakra is vibrating. Letting go, letting God going with the flow and knowing that spirit has a plan all in divine timing, all in divine time. I want to say there's the banner thinking a lot about that banner, but we see the banner here is still being repaired. So there's still healing going on separately and also still being connected. This faded connection, I feel coming together and healing together. We see here in the round and round and reverse that this cycle, there's a new cycle coming. We also see that here, excuse me, with the breathe. It's pretty much everywhere. What's going on under here? Because it just landed there. So let's see what is happening. Wow. Yeah. Okay. My gosh, you guys. 
<laughs> there's that seven again. There is that connection to Neptune. Again, guys, this magical, magical energy, this dreamy energy, this head in the clouds feeling, it is a fantasy. And we see that here. Somebody is fantasizing about it. Is this fantasy going to come true? Or is this simply showing us that your person is thinking about you? You're thinking about your person. Let's see here. But there it is again. There is also the knowing. This is literally the deep knowing here. It's the, the owl that is the guardian of the night. The owl also possess, possesses the knowledge of knowing here. Look, because you didn't know before. You were asking questions, opening the book, saying, why? Why is my person this? Why is my person that? What is going on with this connection? I'm confused. This is a foundation, but there's no walls. There, there's nothing here. It's just a foundation. But the foundation is still here. That is not gone. And look at the light coming in. That is the duality from the dark to the light. That is also the crown chakra. That is also the sun. That is bringing light into your world, coming out of the dark, coming out of the dark literally from coming out of the dark, but also not knowing. You're in the dark. You didn't know what's going on. It came in reverse, guys. And in a literal sense, yeah, we had our winter equinox. We had our winter solstice. And what happened? Well, it was the longest, <laughs> the longest freaking night of the year and the shortest day. And what happened after that? The sun got stronger and stronger and it continues to get stronger and it continues to, to beat down in the most beautiful way on the earth. What is going on underneath there? It's magic happening now already. Things are growing. Seeds are being planted. People are in deep thought. Healing is taking place. Those things that didn't grow that are still needing more sun, that are still needing water, emotional, give and take, balance here. There's a lot of dreamy energy, I'm gonna say to you. There's no definitive, and there's never a definitive, they're coming, there's a message. There's sometimes, if you watch my readings, you know the readings are really strong and you can't deny what's coming through, but it's not gonna be for everybody. And the future is not fixed and everybody has free will. So yeah. Look at your reading here. And it's by the book. Guys, there's that 11. And I want to tell you, when you see this, you see this for me is somebody who is in another situation, possibly not able to move forward. Also, simply, these are the elephants. Again, and we saw that in the milk and honey card. We saw in the milk and honey card, the upturned trunk, the good luck, representing fertility, can mean something else for some of you. I don't generally go there in my readings here at the Tarot Closet, but it can also, it's very much representing new beginnings here. They're down here. It's divine timing, yeah. And here's the other thing for me that's coming through. <laughs> that's just something I haven't, it's a message for you, really for you. It's also almost like getting stronger, getting stronger, getting stronger. And what is on this? Wait a minute, and I'm seeing... Is that a, what is that guys? Do you see that? Is that a wolf? Cause that wouldn't surprise me because the wolf is very, very connected to the divine intuition instinct. Yeah, and that's what I wanted to say. It's almost like this, this elephant is like whoop and has hopped over into that milk and honey card we saw, flipped up that trunk and said, right below that rainbow. I have this hope. Look, they're looking right up here. They're looking up. Both are looking up here at the divine. This faded connection. Mending, working, healing. If you're on a twin flame journey, this can be, I'm going to tell you, it's not just about maybe it's union in person. It, it's, it can also be a lot about recognizing or your person too, just recognizing that you're connected. And for you, if you are on a twin flame journey and you're the awakened one, recognizing and knowing, knowing that you are in 5D union already here. 
okay? And if you're not on a twin flame journey and you're here and you're resonating or you're waiting for your messages, that is really the same feeling. So it can be if you're sitting here thinking, well, I'm manifesting this. I want this reunion so much or I want this union or what are you manifesting? I want to hear from them. I want this no contact cycle to end. I don't want to be in the dark anymore. I want to know what the heck is going on. Well, this is your reading because that information has either come to you recently or it is coming to you. Mars is out of retrograde, guys, in Gemini. It's already direct. And you know what a literal message is. It's been... I don't know, five or six days now, it's a time of taking a deep breath. It's slowing down, but it's also getting an energy boost. It's getting an energy boost and it's plants. This is here because this elephant is on its way to milk and honey. It's plants taking flight. This is the deep breath. This is the knowing too. These are the knowing. Whew, this is really goosebumpy. This is quite literally knowing that 11. Are we in? Oh, I know now. I know now. We're in 5D union. Or I got that message. Or I'm, I, I'm at peace knowing what it is that I needed to know. This is quite literally being in the dark. And it's in reverse, guys. And it's right here next to the healing, to the mending. If this is someone that you're wanting to come together with in the 3D, a reunion of sorts, we also see that here. But it really is a message of slow down, be patient. Literally, plans are, plans are in the making here. The seeds are planted, guys. Did you plant them? Did your, did your person plant them? The prayers that were sent up, the manifesting... It's the time now. The sun is growing and growing. This for me, and I feel it. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I, f I feel like I want to translate this to you now that I feel this peace. I feel very overcome by peace and knowing that. And just knowing, coming out of the dark, also simply for some of you, quite literally, but getting the information that you need or simply just feeling like that you know that you're more at peace here with whatever it is you're manifesting, dreaming about, hoping for. It's in spirit's hands. It's divine timing, quite literally. Your person is really hopeful and that's the other thing. And I feel here, look, they know and that somebody's trying to, to go into that milk and honey that we saw, guys. And again, can it simply be a message, phone call, seeing each other? It really will be different for everyone. Okay. And as I said that, look what is here. Somebody who wants to come with the truth, also being honest with themselves and understanding this connection. This is a blessed connection. There's just no way around that. This is a master number. This is 22. 22 is also about transitions. Guys, it's here. My gosh, it can also be about second chances. Your person's being honest with themselves. Can it be that they're going to come and be honest with you? Let's, let's get a little bit more and let's bring in some more decks. There's the owl again. Where did the owls go? Right here. And this is one of the owls. This is your person. This is in your person's energy. This is where it's strongest, the tarot closet. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, and if you're not, I'll tell you, it's the naughty corner. <laughs> What's the naughty corner? Yeah, I say that in humor, guys. I'm a silly person. And <laughs> it just evolved over time where a lot of energy was going. Didn't matter what cards, didn't matter what deck, tarot, oracle, whatever that things were coming through that was like, oh, you know, ghosting, breadcrumbing, whatever. It's where the energy is the strongest and it can be messages from about the past coming through, the present, upcoming energies, okay? This is very current energy. Somebody here, somebody here knows. And I feel the peace for both of you. And for a lot of you, I feel like you're feeling that too. This is the knowing. 
the knowing, <laughs> quite literally, the end of the cycle, not being in the dark anymore. That's the light coming, literally, with the sun growing, healing, replanting, whatever that may be, manifesting. And that's also figuratively, I want to say, coming out of the dark, feeling like you don't know what's going on here. And it's the end of the cycles around and around. Can it be one cycle? Yeah, it can be somebody has completed some karmic lessons here, look, and there's a new cycle coming, whether they can send a message here and acknowledge to you and tell you the truth about how they feel because they have the information. It's the, the owl. This is also the owl telling them to look. They know. They also know. They're coming out of the dark. Literally, you both are. This is both of you here. And of course, look at that. It's representing the two of you. For some of you, that's twin flame energy. It's not for everybody. It's a decision. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're both coming out of the dark here and it's going to mean different things to everybody. Your person here, look at that. It's opening up the window here. Being honest with themselves, they're standing on the mask also with you. And this gold here, more of that sun energy, more of the crown chakra energy as well. The owl standing right on top of the head. And that's connecting also to the sun, the source, your God, your goddess, the universe, spirit, the divine, <laughs> everywhere here. This is really extremely goosebumpy, guys. This is super, super, super clear for me. And that's the thing. Five is a number of change. It's coming out of somebody who was in their head and felt like, well, just didn't know is what I want to tell you. Maybe had some conflicting energies in their life. I mean, it's clear. Look, this is also coming here with the deep knowing. This is a blessed connection. What does that mean for you? It really is It really is just different for everybody. But your person, they know here. Here's the owl. Look it. Here's the owl right on the moon. Are they trusting their intuition here? Are they coming out of the fear? Because they know here now, guys, the moon, the earth, the sun is around here. There are the stars, the hope, the renewal. Yeah, this is real clear to me. And I feel like I could just keep <laughs> going and going, but I wanna bring in some, some new energy. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us the Carter cards as it may be. Aho, hello. I don't know what got picked up, but the camera just died. Look at this, it just came, it's TikTok. It's, my gosh, it's literally divine timing here. My gosh, you guys. The divine, divine timing. This can also be communication. And look what is here. It is a hot air balloon. That is twin flame ascension if you're on a twin flame journey. That's also just about rising above the conflict. And look what came back, the here and the now. It's still pointing toward the future here. Look at this because this is where it's going. These are the two cards that came down just now and they're all connecting. By the way, also love nudge here coming from your spirit guides, angels and your ancestors. The here and the now, the truth be told, this is also connecting us to the throat chakra. That's the fifth chakra. That's the truth coming guys can be really for some of you likely because it's connecting us to mercury that it's a message that you've either read or that you will be reading. It's not going to be for everybody. How that's transmitted, but <laughs> it's back here. And somebody was indecisive. Maybe and somebody, both of you really didn't know. And things were a lot, I feel a little bit chaotic because we just came out of a really, a, a strong feeling of nostalgia. It's still lingering. And that was mixed in with communication, really just energetically wanting to communicate. And then we, we had Mercury in retrograde, which is literally just about to go direct as I send this message. Or is it already direct? I think it might actually already be direct. And that's kind of getting back to things that 
messages in particular that you maybe started or that you didn't finish. But it was a little bit of a chaotic time because you're thinking, you know, your person's thinking about you. There's a lot of nostalgia in the air, thinking about the past, thinking about what was said, what wasn't said, what you knew, what they knew, what they didn't know, what you didn't know, wanting to communicate. And then there's Mercury retrograde going, right? <laughs> Let's put a wrench in it and make it so that messages don't make it or they, they, somebody says the wrong thing. Things come off wrong. Messages get unsent. We're, we're coming out of that energy now, guys, and it's picking back up about things that were wanting to be done here. Somebody, your person, really wants to come and tell you how they feel, tell you what they know, tell you what's going on in their life. This connection here. Your person's also in that energy of taking a deep breath, I gotta tell you, and slowing down in their life, in their head, and getting that energy boost. And that's the energy currently for both of you. Look at this, this alignment here with the owls, both of you in the mending, both of you in the healing, the breathe. This is right here in the first placement next to the two of you. Look here underneath the owls coming out of the dark. Not only the cycle, here, whatever is going on in your person's life, yours, whoa, <laughs> but also the information and what somebody's thinking, what you're both thinking about the past here and the future, because there's a cycle ending and there's a new cycle beginning. Is it a cycle ending and it's just, that's it, they're coming in and you're together? I mean, maybe for some of you, it's not super clear what exactly that cycle is, but there is a cycle ending. I feel there's connect communication here and somebody really in the know here something changing in their life so whether that's union reunion and it's in 3d or it's knowing in 5d or it's messages and, it, and telepathic messages well yeah that's just that's a given that's those have been flying around for a long time very vivid dreams who, you guys. Okay, I, I'm feeling called to, to go in <laughs> one more time and then I'm gonna bring in something else, another deck. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be, aho. Okay, that's it. I'm not going in anymore. Yeah, oh my gosh. No place like home. For some of you, this is quite literally physically about a home in the separation. Not for everybody. For a lot of you, well, you know what this is for me. This is feeling so at home with somebody like you've known them forever. Look, spirit is here in this connection. Do you see that? There is the five again, the change. Also the communication and look what's happening to the house. This is also for me, what's going on on the outside versus what's going on on the inside. And it's a very, I mean, it's highlighted. It's connecting here to the divine. It's, it's raised up. It's this connection, this feeling. It's raised up and it's vibrating out. And look what's coming out. This is the light from here. This is imagining what can be still. And we see it here in the breathe. Thinking about that reunion banner here that's being mended by the both of you. Letting go, letting God. And spirit has a plan, all in divine time, which we saw come in before it came in. This is the light coming from here. Look, latching onto the moon. There you both are. There is this connection. There is the duality. There's imagining that things are balanced out, that this sense of feeling like you've known your person, that it's mutual, that there's a connection, that somebody's not just bonkers and imagining it <laughs> and what's gonna happen, what happened in the past, that nostalgic energy that we came out of, that we're still in and it's very much here and is driving all of this. And what's going on in the future that is this constantly pointing here. And there is that light holding on to that moon, not letting go of the possibilities, trusting 
your intuition look. It's like parting <laughs> the indecision, the clouds, and we see that here in their reversal. And this is making angel wings. I don't know if you can see that. And that's not surprising. I mean, it's everywhere. And we know that about this connection. Yeah. Yeah. It's the change here. And by the way, it's again, it's the connecting to the throat chakra, speaking the truth. We see it. Being honest with themselves. Here, being honest with you, knowing, imagining that that is repaired, thinking about what that will be like to talk again or see each other. This is a this is a two-way street reading. This is not a well, I left, I'm done with that person. Then this is not your reading. <laughs> I love you guys. But, you know, when people pop in and do that, it's like, come on. If it's not your reading, just move on. This is a really specific reading for you and a person. that There's a knowing here. So this is the reading that this is, okay? This is somebody, your person, that there is a plan. There is a contract. There is a plan for you. And... Yeah, it's really strong with Twin Flame energy. It doesn't mean that you're on the Twin Flame journey. Lots of people aren't. Some people are annoyed by it. Whatever. If you're still hearing or resonating, it's your reading. This is somebody that you love very much, that you feel, yeah, the fate is really strong here, guys. Bring it in that wheel of fortune, the cycles of life, fate, destiny, a new start, a possible message, destinies intertwined. Yeah, also a really deep soulmate connection, someone you feel that you have known forever. And this is about coming into your destiny. And that's bringing in for me also the amethyst here, this amethyst, raw stone, heart, whatever, because this is also about trusting your intuition, kind of practicing your intuitive skills. And it's real strong for your person here. <laughs> I mean, look at this. And the deep knowing the truth be told. When is this happening? I don't, I don't generally give timelines. Sometimes I do. And I'm not really going to give a timeline, but I will say the energy this year is, yeah. Just, well, and in particular in real time for some of you, when, when Venus has <laughs> her hot date with Saturn, that long-term energy, and then moving into Pisces, this deep healing, this mending, this deep healing time of love and also it's about freedom to be able to love when that happens guys when venus moves into pisces it's a feeling of i'm free to i'm fr i'm free to show this express this or maybe come together in real time or i just know now i'm going here i'll meet you in the 5d for some of you not for everybody or here's a message it really is going to be different but it is a freeing time and it's here it's so here i'm so goosebumpy <laughs> this is such a specific reading my gosh you guys who okay i'm gonna just give myself a minute and see what i want to bring in here for you i'm gonna bring in some true love reading cards thank you spirit guides angels and ancestors Please show us the card or cards as it may be. Aho. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to show you something here. It's way too many. But I want to show you this top card. Okay. And it just pushed itself off. So that's yours. And this is also yours. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. This is very. I'm gonna, where do I want to put that? This is the garden that we talked about. Look. The garden. The gardener. <laughs> planting the garden as we, I'm super goosebumpy. It's about what's going on now underground here as the sun gets stronger. My gosh, you guys, it's quite literally, look how abundant it is. Look at the transformative flowers. Look, I feel that they're, yeah, look at the energy here. Right into the tree. Do you see this here as well? Hearts. Butterflies, the garden, it's all over. It's divine connection. This is knowing. This is coming out of the dark. This is also the breathe. Uh, okay. The divine timing. You clearly, look at this, both know how you feel. This is a really aligned. 
These are a lot, this reading is an, I want to say your energies are really aligned. That's what I'm trying to say here deeply. Lots, lots of telepathic messages, lots of imagining this coming together, plans taking shape, whether that's in a, in a letter or communication or simply everybody's making their plans here. This is the garden. This is, this. like I said, everything's, I feel, being planted or has been planting. And now it's up to the source. It's up to the sun, the source, your God, your goddess, the universe, the divine spirit here. Releasing the expectations, releasing the feeling that you have to control things. Because some of you have been really in a strong energy of just trying to. And we can't, you know. Divine timing. Your person has free will. But releasing that and going, letting go and letting God, letting go and letting spirit, the source, your God, your God is the universe. And that's, of course, connected to the sun, which we need for this garden. And we also need the rain. That's the divine. Those are the emotions. It needs, to, it needs the sun. It needs the rain. It needs this. It's the mending. It's work. It's not just, you know... We have this feeling that we've known each other forever and we're manifesting this. I'm manifesting this. They're manifesting this. Imagining this quite literally, guys. Oh my gosh. It's that. It is. But it's so much more than that. It's work. It's healing. It's mending. It's doing your work. Doing your own work. Working on your life. Not controlling. Knowing that you can't control the outcome and going with the flow. Divine timing, it's just so incredibly clear. And there's a piece in that, and that's the piece that I've been feeling. Look at, <laughs> I wanted to say feeling, I don't know. But that's the piece that I've been feeling here. Somebody look, kicking their feet up, they have their hat off, letting their, oh my gosh, their crown chakra breathe, quite literally, knowing. Whether this is a fantasy here of imagining that that is mended already, that celebratory banner, or the imagining here, it doesn't matter. It's a sense of peace. It's just that feeling of knowing. The butterfly is here getting some water from the divine. I mean, you guys, this is just all kinds of messengers surrounding. It's abundant. Lots of heart chakra doing the work here, getting, planting, removing what doesn't belong there. It's the healing. It's the, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to bring in one more deck. Then I'm going to bring in some love messages. And then we're going to close today's extremely beautiful messages from your person reading, guys. It's, it's very inspiring. It's peaceful. I feel emotional, I feel hopeful, and I feel really calm. And when I go over here, when I do this, it's because it's where I'm seeing the 5D for some of you. And that's where some of you are going. You're already getting there and you're feeling that. Maybe some of you aren't, but I'll tell you. <laughs> this is really clear, whether this is 3D, 4, 5D, okay, real time, I wanna say real life. Or this is just knowing that connection, which we also know. That is here, by the way. But what exactly that's going to mean for you, it's obviously going to be different for everybody. And it's a very specific reading about your feelings for each other. Okay? There's a strong knowing here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be. Aho. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Where is that? Look, it's the flower. It's also the garden. This is also yours. We're going to look at that. And is this yours? Is that coming off? No. Okay, that's too many. It's vibrating, guys. It's the stars, the hope, the renewal, the clarity here, your person too, the love. That's also the garden, quite literally. This is the garden. This is the garden. 
This is the divine. This is divine timing. This is also growth. Communication. <laughs> this is the garden here, guys. You can see it. I almost feel like it's here. Do you see that? It's all over the place. Yeah, look, there it is. It's here. And it's here. Look at your reading. My gosh, this can't be any clearer to me. Oh yeah. I love this because not only is this the spirit of gratitude and being grateful for all you have, but this for me is also being grateful for knowing. There it is again. There's the Neptune energy, but this is also bringing in, yeah, thinking about a situation, a person, assessing it, and realizing that you can, controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't here. Very much, and it's all part of the garden. My gosh, and I think, look, that spirit is here. <laughs> These ears in the cup, I know. This reading is very specific. You know if it's your reading. And yeah, these energies are really aligning here. I'm going to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. What do you want to say to your person? I'm scared to leave the life I'm in. That is here. That is in reverse here. That is by the book energy, guys. What does that mean? It can simply mean about distance. It can mean other people. It can mean, what does it mean for you, okay? This is also yours. I don't understand why I'm so connected to you. This feels like some past energy to me because these are all the opposite because they understand this now, and it's also connecting here with the no place like home. That feeling that you've known each other forever. Some of it may have been denial, but boy, are they coming out of that. I wish we were together right now. I'm sending you a message. I wondered if this might come. It's been really strong in your reading. As I said earlier, it can be that a message already came and it might even have been, yeah, I don't know about chaotic, but especially if it came in, I want to say during Mercury retrograde. I think about every conversation we've ever had. Oh yeah, there's the peaceful feeling that is all over the reading today that I felt thinking of you brings me peace. Because this is also your person here, look, knowing, 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 they're also here and the owls, the two owls, this is them imagining. They're also here in the partnership placement. The feeling of peace is palpable here. Oh my gosh, I just, I felt it. I mean, <laughs> I, sh I should, or I should have. I wanted to, to sing to you, to sing it to you so that you could feel it too. It hurts my heart that we can't be together. This feels... Well, yeah, this is current. It's past current energy, but we saw the here and now, the past, the future. We see what's happening in this reading. And this is connecting here with the breathe card, the let go, the let go, the let God energy, the go with the flow energy. I'm trying to get this, your feathers here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get them. Yeah, so they're hiding behind this card and that's, I don't want them to hide. They belong in your reading. Okay, this is coming off and so is this one. I really do care. Please believe me. I'm so sorry I lied to you. Well, that belongs with truth be told. Not only are they being honest with themselves, they're sending this here from their higher self, guys, okay? Your person wants to send this in 3D and I hope they have and I, and I hope that they will. Will they? It's, you know gonna be different for everybody. Boy, do they want to, because they know 
your person is being honest with themselves and they want to be honest with you. This is in this is messages from their higher self guides. And they want to send say this to you in person. It's really clear and it can't even be in a message. That's super strong. Okay. You want to send anything else? We're going to get into some song messages. I feel so much guilt for what I did. Okay, that wanted to come down. This was hanging off my infinity deck. So I feel like it's connected to your person. I'm scared to leave the life I'm in. I'm so sorry I lied to you. I feel so much guilt for what I did. It's challenges. Yeah, that's super clear. Channeled song messages, messages from their higher self through song. Your song can come down, and it can be, it doesn't. It can be a song that's of relevance to you. It can be songs that you don't even like, or you don't know, okay? It's very varied what I bring in. As you know, I'm a professional musician, and I. it's not just about the music that I love. It's what I feel called to bring in when I'm making my decks, which, by the way, I have a lot of new decks coming, including one that's about to go to the printer. These are my hand decks, as you know. It's been in the making for a long time. Anyway, the point is, the message, it's about the message. It's If there's a song here that you don't know or that you don't like, understand that it's about the message. This is also already wanting to come in. And if you ever feel you're sending it, please go with it. Then that's how it resonates for you. And it can be that there's a word, a location, or something that I just have no idea because it's... It means something to you, you and your person, maybe just you, whatever it is, okay? Take what's for you guys always and let the rest go. And being apart ain't easy on this love affair. Oh my gosh. Two strangers learn to fall in love again, faithfully journey. It's all over the place here. The here and the now, the mending, TikTok, the loyalty, Letting go, letting God, feeling at home, imagining, knowing this is a blessed connection. My gosh, deep knowing, actually, guys. And faithfully journey. This is having faith. This is bringing in the star energy again, and there's a lot of that here today. This is about your journey together. My gosh. And it's too good to slip by. Too good to lose. Too good to be there just to use. I'm going to stand up on a mountaintop and tell the news that you take my breath away. You take my breath away, Eva Cassidy. Look at that. Breathe. I just messed everything up. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's not what we were feeling in that energy, but that came through there. And this is Eva Cassidy. She's passed away. You've got to go hear her music if you have not heard it. She's... Who, a legend in my circles. And this song, You Take My Breath Away by Eva Cassidy, please. It's really important because it's, it, these are really about this journey, okay? Hello. That camera, I need to pay more attention. <laughs> I was reading this message for you. All I want to do is find a way. I can't make it through without a way back into love. And if I open my heart again, I guess I'm hoping you'll be there for me in the end. Hugh Grant, Haley Bennett, this is also from that movie, guys. What is that movie? Why is it eluding me? It's the holiday movie. Anyway, look, opening it up. They're looking deadpan on saying it's open again. Yeah, we know that already. This whole reading, this is the entire reading. This is a very specific reading. Because baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you. Marvin Gaye. I never did believe in miracles. But I have a feeling it's time to try, guys. This is also bringing in that star card energy again. I never did believe in the ways of magic, but I'm beginning to wonder why you make loving fun, Fleetwood Mac. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
of course. Joni Mitchell's song comes down in your reading, you can be guaranteed that it is that reading. And this is that reading. I'm very goosebumpy. A lot of people cover Joni Mitchell nowadays on social media. It's very different. <laughs> Make sure you listen to this song, okay? This is Joni Mitchell, her early first version. Both sides now. This is one of my probably top, this is probably my favorite song in the world. Next to Case of You. This is somebody, this is your person who sees the other side, and we know that. They know now. We see that they came out of the dark. <laughs> Just the entire reading again. Regretting a lot. Who? But now they only block the sun. They rain and they snow on everyone. So many things I would have done, but clouds got in my way. Both sides now, Joni Mitchell. You guys, it's just like, it's the reversal of the cycle ending. My gosh. Love. It's all about love here. You see that shell? This is palpable. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Because it's strong. There is no greater love than what I feel for you. No sweeter song, no heart so true. There is no greater love. Amy Winehouse. I feel so peaceful. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I want to just stay in your reading. Let's get another one. And yeah, I think I'm going to just do a little bit more love messages for you. Then we're going to close the reading, guys. Here we go. And love, oh love, I'll be a fool for you. I'm sure you know I don't mind. Endless love, Diana Ross. My gosh. Things get covered in my readings, guys. Apologies, it's what happens. I kind of want to move it a little here. Wait a minute. Okay. Bring in some love messages, a few more, and then we're going to close the reading. What do you want to say to your person? Messages from your person. My love for you is unconditional. You didn't deserve how badly I treated you. I know that I have hurt you, disappointed you. Please believe me when I say I'm sorry. No, I am not over you. Yeah, that's... You know me better than anyone. It's that house buried. I'm ready to take all the blame. Look, here on the truth be told, the knowing. Coming out of the dark here, both sides now, Joni Mitchell. Seeing both sides. I haven't gotten over the pain of being away from you, and I don't intend to. All I think about is that one day I'll wipe my tears and I'll see you. Okay, guys. Yeah, so this is it. It's the last. I want to bring in something to close it. I haven't decided what, what's going on. It's generally the middle for me. My heart says it can't stop loving you. And I beg you to listen to your heart, too. I love you. I want you to come back because I just can't stop loving you. You touched my soul so deeply. <laughs> this is completely covered by love messages. I'm going to bring in a few little ones, and then I want to close the reading. Messages from their higher self. Give me time. You are my other half. This is very much a you are my other half reading. Um, in ways that I can't even express. It's really hard living without you. You are my biggest wish. 
I fear you have moved on. You deserve so much more. You are the love of my life. I mean, these are all the, the big ones, guys. You are my biggest wish. You are my other half. You are the love of my life. Okay, last one. You are my first thought when I wake up and last thought before, before I sleep. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Yeah, look at that. It's a bridge. It's a divine connection. And the water is flowing. It's rushing. It's the divine. It's timing, guys. It's the, it's the energy between you is flowing. Yeah, it's the divine. And it's the bridge. It's a divine connection. And look, it's also the world card. My gosh. It's coming to a three. Divine. Divine timing. Confirming what we know, that your person's a soulmate, that there have been obstacles. There might still be some here, guys. And karmic lessons, life lessons, a cycle is ending. Are there more? For some of you, yes. But this is a really big acknowledgement. This is also acknowledging that it's been in separation. But this is also connecting me in many ways to the breathe card. So first thing I want to say, the let go, let God. It's the sun, of course, the crown chakra, just knowing. It's really strongly here. You're, you're both wearing your crowns in the loyal, the loyal hearts card, guys. Okay? And the other thing is, it's the really strong connection to dreams. Your person's been dreaming about you, and I feel most of you have been dreaming about your person and this connection look and where it's going. This is just, wow, here. Look at this. For some of you too, the connection in the 5D, knowing that, being at peace for a lot of you. Okay, I'm going to stop because I could just keep bringing in more for you because this has just been a complete pleasure to channel. I feel like I want to go take a nap. <laughs> it's very peaceful and beautiful. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. I wish you love and light all things good. All the links are below if you want to check out other readings. And I do have very long, very in-depth Twin Flame readings down there. Also, no contact love tarot for zodiac signs. They're not specifically Twin Flame readings. You always come through if you're on that journey. Soulmates as well. Okay, you guys, I'll see you at your next reading. Take really good care of yourself, okay? Bye for now. <laughs>